हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द सन इनोवेटिव यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे टॉपिक इज क्लोज लुप सिस्टम फॉर बूस कन्वर्टर एंड पी आई डी ट्यूनिंग लेट स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो इन अ कंट्रोल सिस्टम इंडस्ट्री एंड प्रोसेसिंग प्लान डिमांड एफिशियंसी एंड एक्यूरेट आउटपुट हैंड्स इट इज बिकम मोर पॉप्युलर एंड मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट एप्लीकेशन इन अ क्लोज लुप सिस्टम नाउ स्टार्टिंग अंडरस्टेंडिंग हाउ कंट्रोल सिस्टम इज वर्क सो in this technique it is divided control system is divided into the two group first is open loop and second is closed loop in a first open loop block represent the working flow of the system that input to the output from the process and second feedback is taken from the process for improving the output now this is the comparative study between the open loop and the closed loop so we can see in the video also green line shows the advantage and red line shows the disadvantage and uh, disadvantage is more into the from open loop so it is not good for system and you can also see the closed loop advantage and disadvantage so we have concluded that from the open loop and closed loop green lines are more in a closed loop because it is a productivity is unique and clean and less maintenance so it is better to use now this is the example of the closed loop system the repeating work is there power consumption is reduced by stepper motor clean and quality output without the main power you can run your machines so these are the very important functions to of closed loop this is also the another examples of closed loop system that that can follow the reference which is given to the system now let's see how it is working into the matlab simulating software so i'm starting the simulation of dc to dc boost converter now let us start the simulation of dc to dc boost converter so these are the component which i have found from the simulink library you can find this all into the power system and uh, let me connect this all component so we can make one closed loop system for the boost converter and uh, title i have written one thing that this system is used into the petrol pump because this is the applications of petrol pump Uh, we have seen the example when the person or the employee is starting to give some input to the machine that uh, anyone needs a hundred rupees petrol or the fuel. So he is able to fuel fill the fuel into the machine or the car or any bike. It is around hundred rupees only. So because it is happened because of the closed loop system PID tuning. otherwise it will not going to follow the reference so for that purpose i have made this now look at into the simulation so i am connecting v output here so all you component can connect in matlab so this is the v output from the output voltage and uh, reference block is going to connect with the gain so i have here designed my gain according to the maximum output voltage of the boost converter that is 58.4 voltage so i have taken to make this unity feedback and uh, pid tuning is compare goes to the comparator and the ramp wave signals and uh, output of the comparator which is gate pulse is going to connect with the igbt and igbt it is a device that can going to switch the boost converter so we can increase the output voltage so i am arranging this all blocks so now it is done now now i am rating here increasing the font here gain is connected to design the output as a unity because if you increase the duty cycle of the igbt on and off so it is become linear for so for that purpose i have taken 58.4 voltage and uh, 
without connecting 58.4 voltage gain 1 divided by it is not possible and this is the reference block and uh, you can give the reference value from here and it is in form of voltage and uh, this values is become set point for the boost converter so according to our PID tuning design our boost converter must operate according to the reference value which is given to the boost converter and this is the PID tuning this is the input DC voltage and uh, this is the inductor value and uh, I have taken this all values for my purpose so you can change your values according to capacitor register load and uh, let me show you this display is here and uh, we need to also connect this display to the signal so let me take one go to from signals for the each block now connecting them now it is already done so output voltage it is taken and it is connected to the V reference so let me change this name also so let me change this V reference here because it is a reference value and one one is also I am taking for the input voltage measurement so I am taking this connecting across the DC voltage here and it is connected to the go to signal and uh, let me change the direction of positive negative so it is not going to disturb the wire so I am connecting V reference with the input voltage so let me change the name also V input because we are measuring input voltage in another side I have also renamed this V input V output according to the reference value because see output voltage I have to rename this V output because it is output voltage and uh, this is input voltage so I have to rename this V input voltage now already done this all blocks now we can set at the simulation time now running this simulation now this is the gain value here and this is the PID values so in that we have selected the PI and the parallel so continue discontinue you can depends on your controller and this is a controller forward Euler system and uh, values I have designed according to the my inductor and capacitor connected with the boost converter you can design your own also and this is the reference value now running this simulation so you can see the output and the reference voltage we have given the reference voltage as a 26.5 voltage and output is also coming 26.57 voltage so I am writing again here the output voltage is follows the input reference value which is given to the boost converter that we can see here easily I am writing here for the viewers so that they can also understand my language also now let me change the reference value again for making this 30 value so my output voltage must follow my reference value so let me run this so you can see the reference value and the output voltage it is perfectly going to match with the reference value and it going to follow the input reference to the boost converter you can see into the window and output changes as my reference value is shows let me take one another 42 voltage now output voltage must also show the 42 here you can see so we have seen this and concluded that it is going to control as a reference is given to them and uh, it is a perfectly match with the input voltage reference so I think my PID tuning is perfectly designed for my boost converter and here also we can see the point digit 
decimal numbers are also not even far or the not more than 0.5 error so it is a good design i think so this is again one different example 32.7 voltage so you can see point decimal numbers are also going to match 32.7 so it is a good design i think otherwise many of the controller people are going to design this controller but unable to control this point decimal number also so that's per that's why i have given this title as a petrol pump because we know one rupees is also going to matter for the people because it is a fuel so our controller must be also designed very good so we can we can take our fuel according to the our reference values so thank you guys thank you very much for watching this video and i hope you understand and this is the older video that i am going to publish today and uh, with the audio file so i hope you will like this please share and comment this video